Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make a bacon broccoli salad. This salad is loaded with a variety of toppings and the sauce that's made with a Greek yogurt and mayo is amazing. You're gonna need it in your life. And it only requires a handful of ingredients which includes that easy but delicious homemade dressing. We're gonna start by cutting up six cups of broccoli florets. A fun trick that will make that broccoli cutting faster is to set it crown side down. Then while twisting the broccoli, you're gonna cut those florets right off. Then once you've cut that broccoli into bite-sized pieces, go ahead and place that into a large salad bowl. Next up, grab a block of cheese and start to cut that into bite-sized pieces. You're gonna want about half a cup. Toss those cubes right into the bowl. Up next, we need a fourth a cup of finely diced red onion, which is about half of a small red onion. Now just like before, throw the ingredients in the bowl. Now you're going to want to measure out about a fourth a cup of whole sunflower seeds and add those to the bowl. Then add in a fourth a cup of raisins to the bowl. Now I got a lot of comments when this recipe first published that people don't like raisins, and that's okay. Use craisins or simply leave them out. For the last ingredient, we need to add in at least half a cup of bacon, but go ahead and measure that with your heart. There's a few different ways you can get crumbled bacon. You can buy the store-bought crumbled bacon, which is fine, I guess. You can pan fry fresh bacon, which will work, or bake your bacon. And if you've never baked bacon before, I highly recommend you try it. We have a full how-to guide on how to make the perfect baked bacon. It's so much better than pan frying, you guys. Once your bacon is cooked and crumbled, you put that in the bowl and give everything a nice big stir. Now all that's left for us to do is make that amazing dressing. Start by adding one cup of mayonnaise into a bowl and one cup of Greek yogurt, either plain or honey vanilla. And personally, I recommend using that honey vanilla yogurt because it makes that dish so good. There's a lot of recipes out there that only use mayonnaise or they only use yogurt. But when you combine the two, you get a smoother, more delicious sauce and it really elevates this recipe. Then add in two tablespoons of honey to that along with one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. That really gives that sauce a nice tang. Then give this a great big stir until that sauce is nice and smooth. Pour this sauce mixture over that broccoli salad and then stir all of those ingredients until they're well coated with that sauce. You may serve this right away, but it's even better if you let it sit in the fridge for a couple of hours. But you can also make this up to 24 hours ahead of any special occasion like your yearly company Christmas party when Janet shows up with her delicious jello tuna salad and expects everyone to like it. But don't you worry, the only thing you need to like is this video. Like and subscribe. Then I'm gonna add mine into a nicer bowl and you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Also check out the stayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.